annual account statement of government of Manipur 2016-17 release. Account general of Manipur stresses need for financial discipline. The first death anniversary of renowned historian and writer Professor Gamu Mekami observed at Namjing Mahakavi village. Court of the Special Judge Boxo awards life imprisonment to Rappi's father. And Meroka FC Mac home crowd happy with their 2-1 win over Indian Airways. Hello and welcome to Impact News for watching Primetime English News. I'm Kangusam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. The annual account statement of the Government of Manipur 2016-17 was released today. The annual accounts consists of finance accounts and appropriation accounts. The statement showed that allotted funds for the demands passed by the Manipur Legislative Assembly were not fully utilized. As per the reports released by the Accountant General for the period of 2016-17, out of the total allocated funds, 26.66% in the Public Works Department, 18% in the Education Department, 49% in the Agriculture Department, 30.05% in the Community and Rural Development, 85.55% in the General Economic and Planning, 47.41% in the Minor Irrigation Department, 24.75% in the Irrigation and Flood Control Department, 35.34% in the Social Welfare Department were left to be utilized due to inadequate budgeting or lack of monitoring of funds by the government departments. Addressing media person at Accountant General Account and Entitlement Office in Babupara, Accountant General of Manipur DZ Jay Sankar asserted that financial discipline is required to improve the economy of the state. He opined that discussions on the surplus supplementary grants by the Finance Department and the Government of Manipur would be the next right move. Regarding outstanding utilization certificates against grants and aids as on March 31, 2017, an amount of 5,000 67.15 crore was outstanding in the books of Accountant General for want of utilization certificate for 5,038 crore which were due. Most of the outstanding utilization certificates pertains to the Director, Rural Development and Panchayat which is 33.34%, 16.15% for the to the Department of Travel and Hill Affairs, 10.54% to the Power Administrative Officer, 9.04% to the Director of Medical and Health Services, and 8.40% to the Education Director S. Accountant General added that a total amount of 79.31 crore rupees as labor says is to be handed over to the state government by Manipur Building and other Construction Workers Welfare Board. During the course of our audit, also we impressed with the uh, various grantee organizations that your utilization certificate is pending, kindly try to expedite. In the meantime, in the last one year, the government has taken vigorous efforts to you know, uh, bring down the uh, un, uh, you know, non-rendering of the utilization certificates. We had meetings at the level of the Deputy CM uh, Finance also. Uh, I think that has actually helped in uh, bringing down the uh, status of utilization <coughs> certificates as well as the abstract contingent bills. So we are somewhere moving in, 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 in a good position now to press with. As Accountant General, during the course of our audit in the field, we press with the every unit that we visit that utilization certificates need to be you know, sent to the Accountant General. And we also hold periodical meetings with the, uh, with the departments wherever possible and to press with that. The first death anniversary of the renowned historian and writer Professor Gamu Maikame was observed today at Namting Village, Namting Mahakavi Village in Kaitelmanbi on Infal Jirbomb National Highway No. 37. The life and works of Professor Gamu Mai, who wrote many remarkable books such as On History and Historiography of Manipur, A History of Modern Manipur, and his contribution in bringing unity among the communities of the state were remembered at the observance organized by the Organizing Committee of First Death Anniversary Observation of Professor Gamu Mai Kame. 
We built off a floral tribute at the tomb of the late professor as part of the observance. Speaking on the occasion, retired professor and Joy Kumar said, Professor Gamu May not only advocated Manipur is for all the communities in the state, but also believe in social federalism. Taking part in the event, former Vice Chancellor of Assam University, Professor J. B. Bhattacharzi said Professor Gamu May not only made his contribution in shaping the Manipur University but also was an architect of the history department. Former Chief Minister Radha Binod Koizamt, MLA Sapam Ranjan, former Minister Dr. Kashim Riva, professors, research scholars, and several eminent personalities attended the event. Former head of Department of Electronic, DM College of Science, Associate Professor Akam Joy Kumar has been appointed as the new Secretary of Board of Secondary Education Manipur Bosim. Former Secretary of Bosim, Dr. C.H. Sarat, entrusted the post to Joy Kumar at an event held at Bosim office in Babupara today. Speaking to media person, Joy Kumar announced that Class 10 examination conducted by Bosim will begin by the end of February. He said all the works will be carried out as part of rules and regulation. He assured of a fair class 10 examination this year. public complaint Rule and regulation is strictly followed. Don't overset that. Me, I'm so quite put on so quite so one thing. Bibi Rakani, I have a gay, I has a bell. The 289th year commemoration of the burning of Puya will be observed on January 9th at Kangla and Iboyama Sumanglila Sangland. Addressing the media person at Citizens Club, Swabam Plekai, convener of International Observation Committee on Puya Maitaba, ICOP, Moirang Temt. Now, Komba said, Black Day will be observed at special regular English school, Nambol Sabun Lekai, from January 7 to 9 ahead of the observance. He also announced that this year's Jingdam Nungshi Lipul Award and Mai Chong Ningxing Award will be presented to folk singer Guru Rubel Mangsaba and advisor of the ICOP, A. Ibe Chobi, respectively. A poster of the event was also released on the occasion. Malayam da ekhoi na isha bo masat tangne bagi yanglen saru oribar isha lal amaji mayat lonya na na asi buni masi kanna bagi ihu asi safong birakpa nongju khunda kiba mitai ki puya da kaiboron de yawa halibu alangin phlo na nineteen thirty da lashan khun jabi bonda mitai shage ari boi na awala de sen kiba adumba hal asi na mahang yakai birakpa dege nineteen forty five da wangkai thaman khunda. Mitai Puruk of Bama, Mitai Murhova in Kalapati, Nasi, Mitai Nesrem, Pernessing Bar, Eco Omnissing Bar, Milan Nessing Bar, they look Masa Masa Leka, Leka, the Singlu, Puruk Kayamat or Yakana, Nasi, the loan makes a con of Honorabani. Director Family Welfare Department K. Razo today announced that the fourth phase of mission in the Danus will be launched on January 8. He was addressing the media sensitization workshop on fourth round intensified mission in Rudanus at the conference hall of Family Welfare Department, BT Road. The director said the three previous phases were concluded successfully and the mission covered its target percentage to vaccinate pregnant women and infants in order to prevent them from vaccine preventable diseases. He said the mission aims to reach out the remote places, particularly where there are lack medical facilities. 
He also stressed the role of media in raising awareness among the people and for the success of the program. Health department staff in having a doctor, nurse, paramedical staff in even great form of Yona, the way, Pazana of his cabidana, Pazana Tobidana immunization, Sidanatana, Program Kudimo, Pazana, Patopu, Aduna, Masina, Manipurgi, Haksam, Abaya, Kabamu, Egani, Sidanatana, Pemu Fair, he stops him, Ruemi Sangi stops him, Purmakusu, Health stops him, nursing, NM, GNM staff, nursing, doctors in Pemu Fagi. A high-level coordination meeting on intensified mission in Dardanus, IMI, and measles rubella MR vaccination 2018 was held today at BRGF Holt Chandel. The meeting resolved that IMI will be carried out from 7 to 14th of January and MR will be from 15 February to 31st March with a total target of 2,000 children within the district. Nurei Films team donated food items to Carmel Jyoti Children Home in Luang Sabung, Awang Lekai today. The food items were presented as New Year's gift and also as part of the team's achievement on reaching 1 million viewers for the feature film song entitled Ngamadi Fazo. The film's lead actors R.K. Kaiku, Araba Soma, director and producer, were present on the occasion. The children at the home were also given opportunity to venture in the field of arts at the event. Manipur Hindi Parishad Imphal in a press release informed the students of Manipur Hindi Mahavidyalaya established under the Parishad to attend classes for Hindi Prabodh, Hindi Virashad and Hindi Ratna which have already come in since January 2. 12 Assam Rifles Kuding Thabi Motor Vehicle Check Post at Kuding Thabi in Technopol District arrested a man in possession of 4,000 tablets of World is Yours Today. The arrested person is identified as Abbas Khan, 25 years, son of Raushan from Lilong Sambrukong. A case was registered at Mori Police Station for further investigation. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the life sentence being awarded to a biological father for raping his one and only minor daughter. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. The third rigorous life imprisonment in the state for rape was awarded today. Court of the Special Judge Boxo in Fort East under Section 6 of the Protection of Children from Sexual Offense Act 2012 awarded life imprisonment to a man for raping his only biological minor daughter on three occasions today. The 42-year-old convict hails from Infal East District. The father rapist was produced before Judge of Boxo Infal East Court, Gaipung Singlu Golmei, around 10.30 this morning and the sentence hearing continued till around 2.30 this afternoon. The convict was sentenced to undergo rigorous imprisonment for life and was also directed to pay a fine of 1 lakh rupees to the victim. The court further instructed to pay maximum permissible compensation of 2 lakh rupees payable by schemes of the Social Welfare Department and other permissible compensation payable by schemes of the Manipur State Legal Services Authority to the victim on her approaching authorities' concern. It may be recalled that the merciless father raped his one and only minor daughter on September 19, 2016. Mahut Minister Taunaujam Siam Kumar inaugurated nine bio toilets for the first time for the conveniences of the infall evening visitors under Mahut Department and IMC today. The bio toilet was set up under Defence Research Organisation and will be put to use from tomorrow. The portable bio toilet had three samples, a 200 litre tank on top and a 700 litre tank at the bottom filled with bacteria which eats off the solid waste and generate colourless odorless water and gas which is continuously let off to the atmosphere. Speaking to media person, Minister Thaunaujam Shyamkumar said the bio toilet will be set out in different areas of the infall for the convenience of the people. He said the water released from the toilets will in no way affect Kangla Pat. Director of Mahut and Git Chandra and officials of the IMC attended the event.
culture right there. She's a queen, Hapsa Lakanda, Sigma Pana, quick among Patomiam singer, see, clean what doing and look at the mark, Tanya, the Manamahanam, the Badumba, Makalgi, to the letter money. Manipur, the machine, the hand money, I do a season, not an aqua, Matang Matang, in Palsi, to one from the Kawabazagata, a quay, see, insult or only a doer, Manipur to a citizen, the quay, insult or only a Zamian, the Pilto, Madudi, Kanagumba, Nuishina, Quiggy, Sumba Kala Paki Manaka, Sumba Mobile Tolel, Makis Lakanda, Kala Paxi, Poluta Hole, and Aqua, Highway, I do a Pilto, Madudi, Masi, I sing Sida, Kala Pada, Kaguma Kalamagi. Quite effect of the other can pollution to the bio toilet, Makal Amani, Sigi Tolopa, Disars Duna, Akuibi surrounding the Poluta Hunindrakanda, Sinaba, Adu Makalgi toilet, Pajik Sigi Toloka, the Racing City, Quimanam Namdaba, Armigi, Kanomatung in a high bedati, Lay Sing Sai, Vi Hai. Spokesperson of the MPCC, MLA Kumukcham Joy Kisan, cautioned that it is time to take steps to protect the indigenous people of the state. He maintained it is not the lone duty of JCILPS to protect the indigenous people of the state and as, a, and as such appealed to all to collectively fight to protect the indigenous people of the Manipur. Joy Kisan was speaking at the 58th Foundation celebration of Northern Student Union, Kundrakpum, today. He said there is apprehension that Assam's updation of the National Register of Citizens might affect Manipur. On the other hand, Joy Kisan countered the claim of BJP government that the Congress party is trying to gain political milieu, saying all the MLAs unanimously signed a drafting committee for the framework agreement. He also appealed all to collectively fight the ill treatment meted out to the people of Manipur in Mentland, India. Ikoi ikoi me am sinah kucham nara ka haura kanda ikoi goi ba lenga ka sinah ikoi na pressure pira kanda mani pugi le be yellow music kanna ba adu gumba ek ama bill ma pastor ek chalai ra kadu ribne ngasi thanga ba istet asam da citizenship ek pastor dana me amama Muslim me amama ma koi citizen chinre na mi lak me amama uzik citizen je kaktha krab mi sinu kadai na lak kadu ribne. Makoi the Bangladesh the Halan ke doori bra, Tripura ala thajan doori bra, Manipur injil lakh doori bra. Chit tanjash da koi na tangai pata na koi se, khuji usik se, a koi ki bill se, yam tu na pasto ho se koi tangai pata mene. Environment Minister Thonau Jamshyam Kumar has released the Environment Department's calendar 2018 today. Speaking at the office and launch of the calendar at his office chamber at New Secretariat, Shyam Kumar appealed for people's support in maintaining the environment neat and clean. Additional Chief Secretary of the Environment, Sambu Singh, and top officials of the department were among those present at the event. Minister Shyam Kumar mentioned that our environment is deteriorating due to our reckless conducts. He added that the state's natural environment including the hills lakes river etc are being affected day by day the minister called for people's support and cooperation in protecting our environment <laughs> Lake Punam Matung Matungina, Mu even a Samasagi, a Pam Matungina, Quick Kung Sanami and Pumjala, but some Malayamda, a Sawas Hapu and Pedra, and see the Ain Sai Kankaheli, Amadi Nungun Sagi PM Soli. In my Mingi Sakam, see Kanabo Honabada, Amadi Masibu Naga Tamanabada, when you prepare Miami Matin Yoga, Katnamoi, Adana, Kirendra, see Poma Kanda, my Pil to him at the when you prepare Miami, in my Mandi Pavin and Sibu, Amadi Mohsa and Mina, Tambiramba, Amadi Prikitina, Piramba, Port Kudimus Naga, Great Tamdana, Mu Vina, Kundabiaba, Malim Pitibis and Tabatima, Pamla Tabasimba Pitibi. Nambol Municipal Council launched the cleanliness campaign SWAS Servection on the team Let's Keep Nambol Cleaned at 18 Woods of the Council as part of the nationwide SWAT Servection competition which commences on January 4. Chairperson of the Council, CH Basanta, led the people in the cleanliness drive from Nambol Maibam. CH Basanta announced that Nambol Municipal Council is taking part in the SWAT Servection Competition under SWAT Varad mission of the Indian government. He said people are given awareness on how to maintain cleanliness as part of the campaign. He said various machines and manpower will be utilized to keep Nambol neat and clean and appeal for people's support. EO and Nando, Woods councillors and staff took part in the campaign. President of Border Trade Chamber of Commerce, Moray, V. Shaker, drew the attention of state and central government that it would be of less value if facilities are not provided to the businessmen, even with the inner of the 
passenger terminal building inside the integrated check post complex. Speaking to Impact News today, Secretary Manton that the state and central government set up the integrated check post with an objective to enhance business transactions and to develop more. However, the inauguration of the passenger terminal building, which should have been done by December, is now up un undated. He questioned what benefit would be brought by the inauguration of the passenger terminal building inside the integrated check post complex. He highlighted the plights of the businessmen due to increase of duties levied by the government of the India after a fleeting free trade. Shekhar opined that without adequate facilities for export, banking and transport from the government, the inaugurant of a building would be of less value. Trader ke liye kya hai facility kuch nahi hai. Facility kya kuch nahi hai bolne se jis hisab se sea route mein jo export export hote hain export mein kuch facility milte hain. Us facility kya hai drawback hai TPP hai aur kuch facility bhi milte hain. Magar ye land route mein koi bhi facility abhi tak diya nahi hai government of India ne. Jisse bhi hum log idhar chamber of commerce koi bhi memorandum koi bhi hum log ka jo taklif proposal waham bhej raha hai uska koi bhi responsibility nahi aata hai hum log इस हिसाब से बोलने से कम से कम काम होने का बहुत मुश्किल है क्यों ट्रेडर का तकलीफ तो गवर्नमेंट सुनना चाहिए गवर्नमेंट तो कभी सुनता ही नहीं है a public relation office to facilitate students to avail various schemes and projects under the minorities and other backward classes mobc and the departments implementing agency mobits was opened today md alarm was also appointed as media in charge Addressing media person at the PRO office located at the office campus of member secretary MOBC in North AOC, MD Slant asserted that students belonging to minorities, OBC and scheduled caste community of the state are being inconveniences in availing various welfare schemes available for them due to the inefficiencies of the MOBC and staff of MOBITS. He said the post of the media in charge was created under the supervision of director of MOBC to address the same. MD Islam assured the students that the new office will be put all out efforts and ensure that various schemes under the MOBC and MOBITS are conveniently available to them. He also appealed for people's support. Irregularities are not mistakes, are not mistakes. सुगम बसी दा मोबाइल की मेंबर सेक्रेटरी के एस दिनेश चंद्रा एमओबीसी की डायरेक्टर सो एबी रिबा मागी वार फुटिंग दा संचली एक होई की डेवलपमेंट की थबक सिंची मसी दा कोऑपरेशन खरे बीयू प्रॉब्लम इश्यूज लेबा हंगनिंग बा सात्र नीना ग्रीवांसेस सात्र की लेगे दा बखोट के अदूई खुदों चावे यंगा मोबेस्टा एक होई की एमओबीसी की सुपाउ खंग बे आबा मोबेस की सुखंग बे आबा अदुम बामा एक होई की ऑफिस समा इन साजमा लेजरे Staff of the 50 bedded hospital in Ningxing Kul in Jiribam district initiated a bend down strike today in demand for payment of more than six months due salary. A staff of the want and only hospital told media person that the staff are going through immense hardships due to non payment of six months salary. The staff termed it unfortunate that the hospital authority failed to consider their plights despite their sufferings. He added that if the authority concerned failed to look into the matter by tomorrow, the hospital will be totally shut down by coming Monday. And now in sports. Neroka FC beat Indian Arrows 2-1 in a remarkable third home match of Neroka FC in the ongoing Hero Eight League at Kumant Lampak Man Stadium today. For the winner, striker Singham Subhas netted the two goals. The remarkable performance of the team cheered more than 35,000 crowd at the stadium. Singham Subhas netted the first goal in the 39th minute after cleverly deceiving the goalkeeper. He netted the second goal for Neroka FC by striking the ball straight into the D box in the 45th minute, taking advantage of the counter attack on Neroka FC. The lone goal for the Indian Arrows was netted in the second half of the match in the 89th minute by Indian Arrows substitute striker Rahul Nuli by shooting the ball crossing from the right corner, flagged straight into the D box. With no further goals from the Indian Arrows by the last whistled, Neroka FC was declared winner of the match. Though Indian Arrows lost, 
The team's defender Boris Singh Tangjum and midfielder Nongdamba Naurim played spectacularly, drawing the attention of the crowd in today's match. Out of these total seven matches of Neroka FC, the team has won four matches, two draws and lost in one scoring 14 points and is second position in the table. Neroka FC will face Chennai City FC in a home away match on January 9th. The fourth home match of the Neroka FC will be played against Shillong Lazong at Kuman Klampak Main Stadium in Fall on January 23. Paradise Club Polo team Tuankai entered the semi finals in the first and the 16 boy state level polo tournament. In the second match played of the tournament at Mapal Kangjaibung, Paradise Club Polo team Tuankai dropped KM Memorial Riding School team B Singzamai 8 1. For the winners, K Dayananda scored two goals in the first and second chakar of the match. DH Shanato scored two goals in the third chakar and one in the fourth chakar of the match, and TH Boynao scored two goals in the fourth chakar of the match. The low goal of the KNM Memorial Riding School team B Singzamai was scored by TH Bobby in the first chakar of the match. Seven polo teams are taking part in the first under 16 boy state level polo tournament organized by All Manipu Polo Association, Samodon Ayangba Team A Mongsangai and Eastern Student Club Moirang Nomei Bunt will meet in the third match tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uniforms were distributed to the cricket players of Youth Welfare Club Langthabal, who will be participating in the Haibok T20 cricket tournament today. The uniform jointly sponsored by Infal Works Langthabal and President of Manipur Library Association K. Chawa were distributed to 15 players of Young Welfare Club Langthabal, including its team captain W. Priyo Kumar at Langthabal Lab Community Hall. The T20 cricket tournament under the aegis of Manipur Cricket Association will be held at Langthabal public ground from January 7. Speaking on the occasion, President of Manipur Library Association K. Chauba said the uniforms were distributed keeping in mind the conveniences, inconveniences including lack of funds facing the players of the state. President of the club L. B. Rao and Vice President of the MCA N. Ibohol attended the event. <laughs> ยามนี้ไว้อมตะวิไฮเวสไอ้เอ็กซ์เพรียนสตูดิโอกิคัลลูรักันดะนุงไอตะวะงางสิงตุนะอมตะอมตะเซ็งเนอร์ขอตะน